Well, 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 we rolled an intro this morning, so we don't have a lot of time for the gameplay, so we have to get through this quick. All right, Super Chaffee, let us see how super you are. What is his name? It's Daj Doolin from the AGRP clan. Shout out to you guys. Let's put it in his perspective. And uh, his teammate just shot him because he's playing with Muppets. But that's okay. He's just going to carry this game on his back. His big, broad shoulders will just simply carry. And his teammate shot him again because he's playing with Muppets. He's bottom tier, so obviously he can't do anything, right? He should just, oh, I'm going to go to... Uh, A7 and jump in the water and die. That's what you would normally do if you're a volunteer, but he does not care. He just, he doesn't know how to drive. He went off the road and he gets hit by the artillery. There you go. But he repaired himself and he keeps going. Undaunted and undeterred. What could a tier 6 light tank possibly do in a tier 8 game on this map uh, in such a short time? Well, we're going to observe, watch in awe. As he's trying to decide who, who, who let the dogs out. Just shoot your gun, you stupid. Yes. Okay, now he's shooting. And uh, there's a TD that's just sitting there. Uh, looks like he's disconnected from the game. Uh, it's not a wargaming bot. It's, this is an actual human he's playing against. Uh, in the S ISU 152. He is human. Uh, you know that. He's driven at least 100 meters from the cap. Wargaming is trying to deviate his shots with this Russian cloak of dispersion that they program into the game where your shots disperse more when you shoot a Russian tank but the ISU 152 stays perfectly still and allows himself to explode. And now his teammate is going, hey look, my teammate just exploded, what should I do? I know, I'll park right beside him because this, this is probably a safe spot right here. You see my teammate that just died there, uh, I'll park right beside him. And I'm not sure why this little light tank did not just keep shooting. Uh, shooting worked the first time, so why not keep doing it? It, it, it worked for you? in the first minute of the game. And here come the artillery shells, the obligatory artillery shells. Just shoot that guy. That's, it's probably a good idea. There he is. Just take a shot. There you go. You see how that works? It actually, it makes you win the game faster. He's starting to realize, guys, that if he shoots his gun more often, it tends to make you win the game faster, which is, it takes some people some time to realize that. Uh, after about 17 or 18,000 games, some people start to realize that if they move their index finger like this on their mouse frequently during the game, uh, then things shoot forwards and hit the enemies and, and cause damage. Whee! This is Wargaming's uh, physics in action. This is what tanks should be able to do. And now he's going to move forward. And can he? Can he farm more Muppets? Let's see. He's the little tier 6 in a tier 8 game. Let's see what happens. Uh, oh, look, there's one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Oh, look, there's one here. That is also a human parked right beside another human. There are two human players, I believe, and one of the human players just exploded. Those are actual players. Those are, those are actually uh, teammates of the enemies. Is he going to jump off the cliff? You might as well. You might as well. There you go. That's another human. He's taking the low ground. His teammate leaps on him. Uh, because, you know, why not? Why not take the low ground with the teammate, the enemies that are losing? And he pumps a shot into him. And, you know, this artillery is... He really doesn't know what's going on. Uh, he's just... Um, well, let's say he's a special artillery. He's an SPG. He's a, a special programmed gun in the game. Uh, these, this is World of Tanks, guys. We're watching World of Tanks, isn't it? Oh, well, <laughs> look at that. One of the enemies has just shot him. The first enemy that has actually aimed and shot. And it was a KV-1S. Let's see. Okay, what is he going to do? Uh, he is, uh, is he going to go in with Reckless Abandon? I would go in with Reckless Abandon. There he goes. Oh, the KV-1S shot him again. And he's just... Take another shot at him. Good. Pound him! Pound him! He's uh, <laughs> the obligatory dead uh, commander. So that he can use his uh, first aid kit. Spend those credits. Spend those credits. Now his teammate cuts him off because he doesn't really know how to play this game. And he comes around the corner here, the KV. And they've, another one has exploded. Another one bites the dust. Hey! Another one bites the dust. And up the ass for you once. Up the ass for you. Love me two times. Right? He almost did it. He almost put it up the ass twice, but he only got once. And now the T-56 that's taken the most important position on this map for a team that spawns on his side. No notice how he is behind the rock. This is... It's a, it's a good thing he took this position because this really helped his team. Up the ass for you. And he's going to love me two times. I'm going away. Love me three times, baby. Love me three times today. And as you can see, another fantastic example of just the high skill level of the player base in this game. These games are so competitive, it's amazing. And a tier six tank was able to finish on top with over 2,000 damage versus a collection of clueless, absolute morons that should uninstall this game and maybe try playing Hungry Hungry Hippo. Well, there you go, guys. There you go. That was all the energy I could muster this morning. You got the intro and uh, a game that I think perfectly depicts World of Tanks in the state that it's in right now. It's it a beautiful game. Tier 6, light tank, caring like that. It's crazy. The game of a lifetime. It's just a... Uh... 
Skoda T56. I see I got turret armor and gun depression. Should I go to the ridge line in the middle? No, I'll hide behind this rock. ISU 152, they keep shooting me. Should I move? No, I should be safe here. His teammate, oh look, my teammate exploded. Let me park right beside him. The, obviously, this is a safe position on the map. I'll just stay right here, right beside my teammate that just exploded. Uh, the strategy is just mesmerizing. It's really a, you couldn't ask for a more, a collection of <laughs> just super unicoms playing. And now I'm looking at the minimap and, uh, <laughs> well, guys, uh, we're not going to do the, the, the quick commentary. Consider it an intro. But this super Hellcat wants to be super. And he's moved up to where he knows the enemies should be in a super fast way. And he's looking at the minimap going, what is the Cavalier doing? What is the Easy 8 doing? Uh, what's the Bishop doing? <laughs> Look where the Bishop is on the minimap, guys. And he doesn't realize that he's moved to this 1-2 line where usually a lot of players go and none of his teammates came. And he was thinking, boy, I'm playing with a collection of clueless clowns. Uh, but he did not factor in the possibility that the, the enemy players are just as clueless. And they've moved into similar positions uh, to his teammates. Like a mirror image, guys. Like a mirror image. Which begs the question... And I'm going to ask you, and this is a serious question. I know we've, we've already had our fun this video, okay? Now the serious question. If you look at the deployment of his team, they all went kind of to the, the east side like morons, and no one came where he was until someone, a couple of his teammates noticed that he was on this flank, and then they followed. And the enemies kind of did the mirror image. Uh, <clears throat> and um, so the question is, are, are these all bots? Are like 80% of the things that you see in this game just freaking programmed bots? Like, could this possibly be humans playing? And I've carefully selected games where uh, players have posted the games and they're proud of their achievement. They, this is a good game they've had. And there's no bot. Um, I'm not hiding anything. There's no bot uh, um, little, you know, the little tank, the little symbol. There's no bot-like names. This is just a random battle. Um, you watch those games? You watch these games? Uh, Wargaming? Um, <laughs> Let's see if he can, if, if his superness, your superness is not working. You, okay, that was superness work. The enemy team didn't go to this flank, and then, you know, slowly a couple of them appear. It's, a, it's like a mirror image, like, it's like a bot program deployment. But anyways, let's watch, let's watch. He's a, the super Hellcat is being super, isn't he? He's, boom! Whoa, he does the flanking! <laughs> it's almost like he's having a session, and he knows. I just gotta go for it, because, uh... There's not a... Uh, I think this was on the EU server. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see. What, what is his name? Uh, Bigod57? I'm sorry. I, I, I don't remember. I didn't look it up. Uh, I believe this is on the EU server, but I'm not sure. Uh, but there's not a shortage of players in the queue to play tier 5 and 6. Uh, and I know there's some beginners at the lower tiers. I, you know, that, that's true. But but I, I don't think it can be this bad. Enemy armor is Daddy, I don't have a turret. What do I do? I, I jumped off the cliff. But and then I realized I don't have a turret. Now, oh, you know what? I concede. I concede a bot would not do that. That was a human play. It's true. Uh, I don't think uh, Wargaming has programmed the bots to leap off the cliff, on, you know, to jump on uh, the enemy. So that was a human. Well, he tried, right? He tried his best. <laughs> he saw someone down there and said, You fucking squish him like a fucking cockroach! 
And then, well, you know, it didn't work out. <laughs> but he had fun. He saw his tank leap through the air. He probably giggled when he was doing it. Hee hee. Right? And, uh, and then he died. <laughs> so that, I can see, that was a, that was a real human. So the, the dead, uh, whatever it was, <laughs> that was a human. We can all agree on that. <laughs> but uh, I purposely selected two games that are just gonna, just to make you think. Like, and, and this is not a, a a strange anomaly that you know. Oh, it happens once every uh, a thousand games. I've you know, had games like these. It's not like nobody told me there'd be games like these. Reference: Strange games, indeed. You guys know that one, right? Come on, you know that one. <coughs> oh. There goes the looks. So, I don't know. Uh, it's just... Either there's bots. Uh, not all of them, right? Maybe uh, five or six bots per side. Seven, eight, nine bots per side. Or... Uh, these average players just freaking suck one or one or the other is true right uh, it's probably that but you can't suck like that you can't just like all wander to one side of the map and then the other side wanders to the side of the map it's like a mirror image of Ooh, let's, let's suck just like the other side sucks I don't know there's something strange there's something happening around here and I don't know what it is do you, Mr. Jones? But this guy knows what he's doing. He's a three-marked super Hellcat, and he's pretty... He's looking pretty super. Oh, Hellcat, you are so big and super. <laughs> so that's your question today, guys. Let me know what your answer is, as is... Matilda caps like the Matilda just drove down the and went in the cap doom -doom. is the Matilda a bot that's that's your question for for today what percentage of the players that you witnessed in these two games are humans as opposed to bots are they all are they all humans 80% uh, of whom sucked <laughs> or are there like 50 50 percent bots in these games you let me know in the comment section. Uh, I know probably, I, I, I think the answer is that they're probably human and uh, they probably have no idea what they're doing. Uh, that's probably the answer. Uh, but it's a mind, it's, it's a conundrum. It's a pentamine. Okay? It's like an enigma wrapped in a riddle, wrapped in an enigma. I'll catch you guys on the next one.